The idea of a seven-year tribulation is rooted in a misinterpretation of Daniel 9, verse 24 to 27. Presented is a prophecy concerning a 70-week period determined for ancient Israel. 70 weeks, we read, are seven sevens, or 490 days. The day-for-year concept must be applied here as we're dealing with prophetic days and the presence of a jubilee calendar. Thus, the 70 weeks is 490 literal years. The 69 weeks mentioned in Daniel 9.25 is the time span during which a decree by Artaxerxes I was issued to rebuild Jerusalem unto the appearing of the Messiah. Next, verse 26 says, After the 69 weeks shall Messiah be cut off. Verse 27 reveals that in the midst of the 70th week, he shall cause the sacrifice and oblation to cease. Jesus atoned for the sins of man on what he accomplished at the cross. The need for earthly sacrifice to atone for sins is no longer necessary. Daniel 9.26 says, After the 69 weeks shall Messiah be cut off. This simply cannot be interpreted as before or during. Those who teach the seven-year tribulation say that Messiah was cut off in or during the 69th week. Again, a misinterpretation of verse 26, which clearly says after the 69 weeks, Christ would be cut off. The 70th week immediately follows the 69th week, and verse 27 shows that Jesus perfectly fulfilled that prophecy by being cut off in the midst of the final week. Basic chronology shows that a seven-year period of the 70th week cannot be placed at the appointed time of the end, and the idea of a seven-year tribulation does not hold up. It is also important to note that the use of the word covenant, as in confirming a covenant with many, is only used in scripture when dealing divinely with God the Father or Jesus the Son. This part of the verse has absolutely nothing to do with the Antichrist at a future date. The common understanding has been that the 70th week immediately follows the 69 weeks, and again, this prophecy was fulfilled at the cross. The 70th week didn't simply stop there, for the disciples continued their ministry. However, it was Christ being cut off in the midst of the week where the true prophecy is fulfilled. The concept of placing thousands of years in between the 69th and 70th week is not doctrinally sound, nor is it biblical. It has gained popularity among dispensationalism in the 19th century and continues to be so today among those who adhere to the idea. The 70th week gap is supposedly a time span between the time of Christ until a so-called rapture. More on that in another study. Main points of the argument follow that the 70th week, seven years commence, and the he of Daniel 9.27 applies to the Antichrist, or Lucifer. The seven years of the 70th week is the seven-year tribulation, during which chapters 6 to 19 of Revelation are fulfilled. This is a conflicting theory not found in scripture.